like uh, the paper we got from Macarena. Yeah, if you can feed this in a data database, we have also from yeah from uh, the Castores. We also have it from the Black May. If you Black feed May. this in a database and imagine you are able to prepare before a tournament in an international yeah. tournament, you can check the names and uh, you you uh, access your database of these players and uh, you can you can see the picture. You can see. Uh, um, well, the, the, key, the history, maybe the key and teams they played with. We send, if, uh, we ask, we send emails to the team saying if it they could send that information about the team and the players. But you know, I know that even I mean everyone is busy and they didn't have the chance, so we don't we didn't have a lot of feedback. But we are trying. I think the the uh, magic behind it is uh, the the storing accessibility and the sharing of the knowledge <coughs> we have and right now on the water rugby is uh, growing very fast we don't know much about Turkish players but uh, having someone like Tarkan uh, uh, organizing the league there he will uh, be happy and uh, able to provide information and make it accessible and uh, this we can probably put into uh, a database in the academy so for uh, f uh, further uh, use for commentators all over the world. So let's uh, um, go to the, the next final? game. I forgot to write it down. Uh, six euro? I don't remember. Yeah, but sure. about. <laughs> so the next game will be uh, one of the most interesting games of the day. I think yeah, uh, Jörg agrees. He already has his microphone in the hand. Yeah, I think it uh, would be interesting to see Akan against a strong team. And if they they could uh, repeat their performance from yesterday against uh, the Castores, uh, it seems also uh, a strong team uh, in the game. So I think it would be, be interesting to see yeah. how it, their their system. I think there are two, uh, even from the mentality, the Castores are really hungry. It's the first time on the. Uh, on the Champions Cup for them and they're really hungry to win to prove themselves and Akaren is a little Be bit yeah, the cooler uh, uh, Nordic uh, mentality like uh, uh, they are they have a lot of experience as a team and uh, the machine we saw yesterday how they played uh, which reminded me of the, the Berlin the team yeah but the thing is they were playing against Vienna sure. so Vienna didn't That's have it. a lot of pressure so when you don't have a, a team that can put pressure and you can play your game then that's easy Castores will be able to, I'm sure, to put some pressure so to try to disrupt the game and let, let's see how uh, Norway can, you know, continue with the game. Um, and the Castores have been trying like for years to win um, the national team, uh, in the national uh, competition against Orcas and they succeeded this, uh, last year. So the, as Wolf said, have been training and they really want to win the cup. I mean... I know that all of the teams want, but, yeah, but the hunger, it's the it's hunger about it, yes. yeah. And the, the effort uh, the Castores have to put in uh, to come Coming over here. here to Europe, uh, the money, the effort, uh, the, the organization is, is on a much, much higher level than it is for uh, some Nordic teams or European teams to uh, compete here. So I think, uh, yeah, talking about hunger, Castores are hungry. The question is, is... Uh, um, is Akaren uh, also hungry enough to win? I think uh, we should do not uh, have a lot of speculation. We should uh, watch the game and it will be give us the uh, best impression. So uh, we have the information the sound is kind of low. Um, you don't hear us very good. I push up a uh, the volume a little bit, just give us feedback if you can hear us better. So we are in the first half of the game. A current from Norway against Castores from Colombia. And uh, this is uh, one of the, I think, decisive games uh, in the uh, women rounds here at Champions Cup 2016. So uh, Castores in white and Akaren in blue. And uh, Akaren is now trying to build up its attacking machine. Uh, they're coming in from... Uh, the open side and uh, already players waiting on the in the middle on both sides of the basket but the Castore succeeded in uh, breaking free getting the ball free and breaking free but are stopped uh, still in their own half um, by Akaren uh, uh, players with a good forechecking so we see Akaren now with a, uh, their forechecking they 
were not uh, 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 forced to use in their last game. I'm checking. I mean, we have five national players in the Castores following. I have a, I have found information about the team, and I believe uh, uh, Karen has about the same amount, and they have a lot of. Um, uh, the team that have been playing the Champions Cup and have won uh, Champions Cup in the past, at least uh, two-thirds of the team uh, had played many times in the Champions Cup uh, as well. Um, they have even the uh, buried uh, so, so far the top four in the national the referee, league. referee um, pushing... Uh, oh no, it was no pushing, but it's a free throw against uh, Akaden. And uh, we're at the basket of the Arcaran team. Um, and Castares uh, can show now if they can attack. Oh, there was a, almost a kick to the head from a current to a, uh, from a current defender to one of the Castores players, but she didn't seem to be impressed and even is moving forward on the open side of the basket. And uh, Castores tried to attack now from uh, um, the closed side of the basket going into the defense, tearing up the defense, but they're tackled to the surface. And the ball is free now um, and moving back and forth um, um, between. No, no, no. We have uh, uh, the ball is free now, and the current is doing uh, its counter attack. They're going in, two of them going in on the Castores basket. And now we see if they can. Uh, uh, succeed in scoring, um, but uh, it looks like uh, the the second wave is coming in too slow, and yes, they have they to, are to wait. But they're waiting, but look, she just waited for uh, the other um, player to come on the open side and try to go over the goalie. Uh, however, the Castores, you know, the defender could really interrupt that attack, but they are still creating a lot of chaos. You have four Castores now underwater, and um, the Norwegian team still in possession of the ball. Uh, the defender just almost uh, stole the ball, and um, that was the yeah, holding without ball, I believe, uh, by the um, Norwegian. So now we have, of course, a free. Uh, throw against uh, Akaren and uh, let's see I mean Casores was a little bit under pressure there they were a bit chaotic so if Akaren can continue to create this kind of uh, distress when they attack they eventually will get a score right now they are quite even uh, um, with different styles of playing but uh, um, it's back and forth from uh, Akaren to Castores basket and uh, both teams uh, succeed in uh, building up attack waves but not succeeding in scoring. So now we have uh, um, Castores again attacking the Akaren basket. Um, they try, they probe and try to find uh, the gaps to uh, establish uh, players at the uh, well basket well of the, uh, of the Akaren. Good. But there was a that was uh, very well done uh, by the Karen. Uh, they uh, you know, they, they did like a sandwich with the uh, Castor in the middle, and then um, they could uh, stall the ball. They pass it to the back uh, of the of this um, Colombian player. And um, okay, yeah, thank you. Now, I think that the, the, the this game represents a lot of nerv uh, uh, the yep. post tape teams are nervous uh, in this. Uh, yeah, so they it's know it's a decisive game. Yeah, so the team who is uh, the first one who are able to overcome this uh, will have uh, a good chance to to uh, yeah. Keep be better, and it, it it looks a little bit like uh, uh, the the women's team we saw before. The could be the first uh, goal, could be the decisive goal in this uh, in this match. Uh, right now they look uh, even, and uh, uh, it's it's a back and forth call from a referee holding without ball, and it's a free throw against the current and we are already uh, more than five minutes in the first half of this match. Um, I mean. For me, I mean, the current players seem very concentrated and, and they know what they're doing. They are 
uh, you know, very city, uh, and the castores look a little bit more hectic. I don't know if it's mm, yeah, an the English yeah. or a German word. I uh, guess, yeah, I guess you're right. Uh, the pressure on the castores is uh, most probably higher because yeah. for them it's, uh, it's more important, yeah. uh, more important yeah. to win yeah. this this game, and uh, yes. this still re reflects. Uh, and uh, as I always say, the the mindset win win the game. Yeah. And um, that was a very long pass, and a pity because it's two against and two. And the second wave took too long to come yes. in. It's uh, we haven't seen this from a current before. Normally, they the second wave come much far came yeah. much faster in. But so it took them too long to to build to a steady pressure pressure. But now we but uh, keep the position of the ball. They, they build just two or three waves, and we are used to that. Uh, normally, they score in the second or the third mm. wave. And uh, Castores are uh, fighting fiercely on their own basket, and they regain now uh, the ball and uh, uh, are already in the half uh, of the pool of uh, Akaren on the heavy attack by the forechecking of Akaren, but still they succeed on uh, uh, defending the ball. Even though they, they almost cannot move forward uh, within this three to four meter distance to the basket. Now Akaren recovered the ball, is going for a counter attack. Two players swimming in on the Castores basket, and the ball carriers tackled away to the surface by two uh, Castores players. And uh, Akaren is still in ball control. And uh, now they try to to find a gap to get into the defense of uh, the Castores. Oh, that's a that was a, a fall pass. That's a pity because they were building up a really nice. I mean, that was like the fourth wave, and uh, the Castores are defending great. You have almost four on uh, the water, three. I mean, two to three constantly from the white and the blue team. Okay. Very consistent. Oh, sorry, this was a call from the referee. Um, free throw. Free throw against, against the Castores. Uh, it took Karen quite long to uh, execute a free throw. Um, the the uh, the advantage is the speed uh, to do the free throw. But nevertheless, here we are, two current players, uh, left and right, to the um, uh, Castores basket, and uh, this this could be a deciding moment um, when they tr when they s can uh, keep the pressure on uh, the. A Spanish basket. Spanish, Colombian. Uh, Colombian, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Two hundred people watching. I mean, Colombia. ¿Cuánta gente está mirando? A ver. For the, those who are wondering who are uh, the commentators, we have uh, Jörg Attel here, uh, coach of the uh, German uh, women's national team, uh, and Lorena, um, who played in his team at Cali, who in the, uh, the world championship. And me, I'm Wolf here with the uh, Sporthaus Berlin, the local team from uh, Berlin. So uh, welcome all to uh, the live transmission here from Champions Cup 2016. You're watching uh, Karen from Norway, female against the Castores uh, from Colombia, female. And it's still 0-0, and the first half is almost over. We have a little bit more than 20 seconds left. I think uh, Akan should uh, pass the ball more to the bottom. Yes. Uh, yep. They they have a basically quite good ball control near to the goal, but uh, if they go above the goal, they they have get out of the cluster and control the ball. Uh, it's m much more efficient. Uh, the castors are strong uh, uh, in 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 protecting the goal. Um, therefore, a little bit backwards play would help Akan. Uh, to get in the second wave uh, would be more helpful. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're right. They they are attacking in the in the, in the one meter height, uh, the goal, and uh, they should play more down at the bottom uh, around you know, the basket. I remember for the times when I used to play the Champions Cup <laughs> at least five, six years ago, and I remember that every time we did the briefing when we had to play against Norway, that was the thing we knew we had to concentrate. We knew they were going to attack 70% of the time from above, and we always you know, defined the, the, um, uh, the duties and, and, and tell the, the attackers, please be consistent, watch out a current attacks from above mostly, and we knew that, and they, uh, they still have the tactic 
So, uh, Colombia <laughs> eh, están uh, mirando el partido de las castoras. Estábamos diciendo, voy a, voy, a hacer, voy a resumir un poquito. I'm going to talk one minute in Spanish. Eh, eh, estamos diciendo, bueno, las chicas de castoras es la primera vez que juegan en la Champions. Las chicas de Akaren han participado muchas veces, han ganado varias veces. También el segundo puesto, la mitad del equipo es del equipo nacional. También tenemos eh, el, eh, un, cinco jugadoras del equipo nacional en las chicas de castoras. Y estamos diciendo que eh, las noruegas están atacando mucho de arriba y que la castoras está pudiendo hacer esa defensa, que por ahí tendrían que empezar a atacar un poquito por abajo. Eh, a Karen es un equipo muy fuerte. Eh, se las ve un poco más tranquilas jugando. Yo lo que veo es que las castoras eh, están así como un poco por ahí más nerviosas porque quieren ganar, quieren ganar y eh, eso a veces puede jugar en contra eh, porque uno tiene miedo a veces de cometer un error, eh, no puede mantener ¿no? El, los pensamientos claros. Entonces, bueno, hay que ver cómo se resuelve el segundo tiempo. Pero los dos equipos están jugando duro, están jugando muy bien, están eh, siendo muy disciplinados en la defensa, en los contras que, que nadan, en el ataque. Son estilos completamente diferentes y bueno, yo creo que el equipo que pueda generar la primera falta en el otro es el que va a generar el gol o será penaltis. So, I'm done. <laughs> I don't know if it was a minute, but... Okay, 30 seconds for the second half. Let's see how they continue, what the coaches uh, ask them to change or if there's an uh, effect of this... Uh, Coaching part after the half, uh, half time, 16 seconds to for the second half. Um, bo both have a strong concept. I think uh, at the moment the defense of Castoris is very st uh, stable and strong and uh, concentrated. Um, the Akan, as uh, Lorena explains, uh, they first attack this from the, um, from from the top of the, the goalkeeper and try to push down the ball to someone else. Uh, uh, I think uh, it's, it's, uh, it's a matter of concentration and patience in this game to realize the chance of, 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 of the goal. Uh, from uh, the physical condition, I think uh, Karen it's, uh, has an advantage, especially on speed underwater. Uh, but uh, Castors take it uh, based on their motivation Uh, uh, in this uh, nice attack, uh, giving the f ball blind on the other side on the goal, um, but uh, uh, they c they could not control the ball. No, I mean the Castoras so are really discipl I mean they have a lot of a consequence in defending and diving, and they're always in time and place where they're supposed to be, and that makes um, it difficult for Akaren uh, to achieve the score. But um, I think, I mean, they are, the, as, as, as Jörg said, that they are fast and they're a bit um, stronger build. I mean, they're a bit larger physically, and that could be in these kind of matches uh, um, sometimes uh, a little bit of an advantage um, when you, you know, are fighting with a goalie, when you're trying to pull it away, you have a longer arm, and then you can achieve the score. These small details uh, matter when the teams are so tight. Um, I think that Akaren has a little bit more of ball possession. I mean, in the first time they were uh, attacking more, and I still I would say this mm, 60 to 40. And uh, Castores is not being able really to um, attack the way they want. They are more reacting um, to the game of Akaren. Akaren is, is, is being able to establish their pattern of, at of attack, I mean, their game more than Castores is. Um, what I think right uh, now. Um, I think that Castors is, is quite smart. As long as you don't get the goal, uh, you're, They don't not lose. Lo <laughs> you're not losing. And that is uh, first protect the goal. And that, and I can't push more this, this, this uh, attack things uh, forward. That enables, of course, uh, more mistakes. Uh, so uh, I prefer the defense tactics. Uh, first, don't get the goal. And, uh, and then, con then, then see, see what, what happened uh, in the front. Because... It's uh, also, uh, uh, if you always try to, to, to do the goal and you cannot do that, that is, uh, it's, it's also somehow frustration. Yes. Good attack and 
Oh. That, yes. <laughs> that was a good attack, but uh, the, the, the Gasoras uh, react uh, fast and, and uh, the defender could go. I mean, that was really, it took a second too long. That took a second too long yeah. for the Ro attacker. Roughly uh, seven minutes to go in the second half. And uh, it's now the turning point in the game. Who will... Who will uh, make an advantage at the moment? Uh, Akan looks more aggressive, had a big chance right now. So it's a three-four against Castores. So they should not lose the concentration right now to uh, stand the, the the pressure which is 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 coming, and it's a tough pressure. Oh, now okay. the goal is covered by Akan, but uh, Castores have the ball. But they they they, sh they need help and get the ball. But they, they, you could see that a little bit more in stress. The Gastores they don't have a. Comp I mean they are defending good, but they are getting under stress. And if Akaren can keep up with this intensity, maybe they can force the mistake. I because guess, uh, you're right. I uh, think if they 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 put, they put more more patience, uh, more concentration. They 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 take uh, speed out, speed in, and uh, I think uh, this is important if you uh, have uh, the, the offense to to change uh, the speed of, of an attacking, um, to release attack, to to push the attack again. Um, this is uh, a really in, um, a good chance, and uh, at the moment we have a timeout, so which is. I guess, I don't know, taken by a car? It looked like, yes. Maybe they're trying to regroup and see how they can more consistent. I, uh, if, it, if it would be Castores, I would understand, but a car and uh, they were got in a strong position. Could it be that they have like a one or two or three kind of uh, attacks that they do in particular situations and now they say, okay, they let... You, know, you, you also know that when you have a, a situation that you have to win, then you have your top six players say, okay, now you are in the water and now because you know that the team is going to play better, maybe something like this could be going on. I don't know, I don't know the <laughs> tactics and I don't know the, 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 the announcement of the coaches and so it's basically also not my matter to, to comment uh, the, uh, what, what, what the coaches do. I, I comment what I see and uh, that's my personal opinion. So but I know that Molde, for instance, when they have... In which situation is that? In the free throw, I think that they have like a particular tactic and sometimes they take a, a time out and to, to get you know, organized and, and then when it's really uh, the two minutes where you have to define the match, uh, there are some teams that have you know, things like this. Uh, well, I don't know, I'm just I, I, speculating I, I, about I think uh, we have in Ontario and there's a lot of options to uh, have such kind of uh, standard situation tactics or whatever. Uh, it's it's difficult if you look for for the the other sports. Even you train this several hundred times, and, and it looks so miserable when they the, the free fall uh, free uh, kick by soccer is kicked somewhere. And you said <laughs> that they trained it so often, mm, so it's, uh, it's it's quite complicated. And yeah. people laugh about Ronaldo when he's standing there like. No, like a macho, but if you look any uh, American football game, the kicker doing the same. Nobody's complaining that, no, because this is a given condition. Same like a three throw, a uh, three shot in a, in a, in soccer. Um, Castors has the ball in the in the, in the, pose in the half of a Karen, but uh, there's no position to get in. And uh, the most impressive is always a Karen's counter attack so that yeah. they, they are that's yeah. a good chance yeah, now for them to score from the open side uh, at the basket but they are heavily tackled away and uh, Akar and, and uh, Castores really succeeds in uh, tackling away these forceful attacks and we yeah. have now uh, um, it's very holding good without ball very good defense what they are doing they know they they cannot you know a small mistake and they are always in position when Akarin is coming with the counter attack with two or three and Akarin is doing you know, consequent uh, attack from above and passing to the bottom, but the Casoras are defending that uh, in a very impressive way. 
So um, I think uh, Akaren is the, the cooler, more experienced game, but uh, Castorius looks really looks hungrier to me. Uh, but uh, it, it's really difficult to break through the defense of a current. Um, even physically, it's, uh, you see the disadvantage of uh, Castores players. They are smaller. Um, it, it's not that easy to, for them to break through these uh, uh, heavy defenses. The long legs and yeah. the long arms, that makes a difference. It definitely does. I would, I would not say that's a disadvantage, but uh, I think I c uh, the, the I can't play is more physical, and uh, Castors play with more, much more with the heart. You see the yeah. the, the, the way how they go in the in the, uh, in the attacks and something like that, and uh, an easy uh, uh, and all the attacks to the goal where I can were in a very good position, uh, really d does not uh, succeed until now. But it's uh, they're putting a very professional p uh, pressure. It's like now two 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 girls, good pass, yep. and so it's always dangerous. It's always very risky. Yes, yes, yeah, but but, but uh, the Colombians uh, really they're react they're good they're and fast. They, 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 if they get the hand on the on the balls, they're they're keeping that uh, the, the the control, and that is. Uh, it's somehow frustrating, huh? How many you have so many good scoring that uh, attempts uh, until now? Yeah. And always I can't put the hands on that. It's of course over the time, somehow frustrating. But uh, but as long as you don't get a goal, you don't lose. So yep. it's fine. I've heard that a few times. Only as one well. minute to go, so it's. Uh but the risk is high. The w the way they play, they could uh, on on both sides, and I think even the. More on the on the um, Castore side basket, uh, there a goal could happen. They a Karen could I score if they just find the right gap, uh, because they're uh, pushing hard when they counter attack. Yeah, but uh, um, Castore is reacting very good to the attack, so it's really impressive, actually. Yeah, they do, and uh, the 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 last here here we go. This is if if they if uh, Karen succeeds to to break the defense and tear away one of the goalkeepers and just to, to open up a gap. But Castores are very good in uh, keeping the discipline at defending uh, their basket. They don't, uh, are, they don't go into chaos by the heavy pressure a current puts them on. So it's uh, yeah, impressive work and we have uh, 10 seconds left. So it's uh, for sure going to be a 0-0 zero, zero, uh, and and uh, yeah, that's it. Three, uh, three minutes now. Um. So that means uh, penalty throw. Yep. Okay. Now, or of course, now that uh, I think Akan is uh, on the. In advantage due to their longer arms and uh, their physical condition, so but now don't yeah yeah uh, I I think that, that it will be now heart against muscle. But but uh, uh, I, I think uh, it's it's uh, when I, the I, I like when heart wins. Yeah, yeah, and I think the heart here is uh, in uh, with the Castores, and I think they are in the disadvantage mm -hmm. if they have to defend, but in the attack. Uh, these uh, Castores players, we, we played against them on Thursday. It's just they go in with everything they have in their heart, and that's what you say. It's just uh, uh, sometimes that makes a difference. Interesting. Yeah. So, penalties now. Uh, the first penalties here in this Champions Cup, uh, haven't seen any before. Uh, we have seen a penalty, yes, but not uh, as a shootout. Uh it's the first one in the Champions Cup uh, so far. Yes, but not no, 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 we've seen penalty in the, in the Champions Cup. But not uh, as a shootout, as a decision maker no, 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 for the yeah. game. Yep. So uh, I think they will uh, um, decide who starts. Okay, your guesses. No guesses. I, I think uh, that's, that's <laughs> <laughs> guessing as a commentator or something like that. Yeah. I mentioned a lot of people in front of the, the, the TV screen or something like that watching this and have to listen to our voice. It's okay, already 
bothering enough. And, uh, <laughs> you know, it's so easy to switch off the sound. So if you decide to, to listen to us, you want it or you don't want it. So uh, let's guess. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, <laughs> if you're a fan of a team, uh, the, then uh, they get... And if you say not always something people want to hear. Yeah, that's and true. I, we, I, we get that. I remember that. yesterday when I was sitting in front of the screen and hear you talking, saying something, and I disagree. I could, I could only not write something. <laughs> and when I, I was not registered, I was m even more frustrating. <laughs> no? Something like that. No? You, you, it's like you, know, you want to interact, no? but you can't or something like that. It's... Uh, I prefer, yesterday we discussed much more on the chat than today yeah, when we're sit sitting <laughs> <it's laughs> each other and saying, hey, let's discuss tomorrow. Okay, here okay, we go. First, first penalty. Uh, Karim okay. is attacking mm -hmm. and uh, Castores are defending. From the top uh, and the neck and... Oh, and goal. Hmm, interesting. Hey. Um, that was easy. Uh, as, yes. a, as a goalkeeper, never get away from the goal. No, no, no. I would. Uh, that is my recommendation. Yes, yes, uh, yes. Totally agree. I, I saw this wonderful video on the on the on the Facebook where the attacker put the ball beside the goal, yes. showed the goalkeeper. Yes, yes, yes. I saw that. Uh, and then uh, the goalkeeper <laughs> looked in his empty basket and then. He put, pick up the goal, the ball, and put it in, the, in into the goal. So, so funny! It was really a funny but scene. But it's, it's always I said to my goalkeeper: never look in the goal. Nope. When you see the empty goal, you see exactly when the exactly. ball. Here we go. Second uh, attack. Castor is attacking, and uh, Karen and Blue is defending. They try to. Oh, oh yeah. This is what I what I meant. Um, I think uh, Karen is in a, a, a in advantage uh, while attacking, but Castor is. Um, Go, they go in with a heart and it's just like this they, they will. Yeah, but yeah. The, the goalkeeper stay away from, from the goal. So yeah, the, again. The first you have to protect the goal. It it's always makes sense to stay between the, the ball, ball and, and the, the goal. The goal. Yeah, when you're moving away, that is uh, no, in, in every position in the game. You have to have the goal behind you and the ball in front of you. And the second uh, one. Uh, um no, now we have some nice Newark. Yes, uh, uh, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you, New York. Uh, now we know how your butt looks. Uh, it was really experience. Uh, I don't like penalties at all. I like to stare at... Uh, oh, it's a goalkeeper. It's very nice if you, you get the ball. Yes, a, it is a good feeling. It is a good feeling. My experience is like if you uh, stay in between the ball and the goal, right? And you concentrate on the ball. And the attacker is concentrating to you. So the moment they reach you, okay. you get the ball. Normally you And the it. second attack for the Castores. Uh, going in uh, from above into the fins. That's also very... Um, that, that costs but a lot of energy. She, yeah. Lost, yeah. she lost the fin. That's, 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 that's a problem. That's a really big problem because with these uh, fiber fins, and they should stop the attack because the, she's kicking hard now uh, with one fin, and that's really dangerous. Normally, I'd say uh, you should, uh, well, difficult decision now, but with one fin, she's really in danger of kicking uh, uh, the defender, and she's, it's almost impossible for her to put enough. Uh, ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. What happened? Uh, penalty? I mean, there's a, like a no, there was a call from a referee, I, know, I think. I know, That's why that's uh, like a But I think call. they should have uh, stopped uh, um, immediately uh, when when the fin was lost. Well, not because yeah. it was against one. So and that's nice, even though a current player <laughs> is uh, bringing up the fin. Um, well, I know that you don't have the fin, of course, it's dangerous, but because it's just one against one, it's not that there's other players around that you can't yeah, kick. Nevertheless, if you get uh, one kick with a fin uh, while you try to, to use it as a, as a foot with a fin... But you're referring. What does it mean if you lose the fin by yourself? I would stop uh, uh, the game because mm -hmm. of danger. But uh, but in and the then? game, yes. But in yeah, the I didn't see how it happened. Did, uh, did she pull it out? So it would be a uh, fall play if she lost it by herself. 
what's the reason to stop it? Uh, please explain. No, I'm your no, reference. I'm not. Yes. No, normally, if you're on a game, if you mm -hmm. don't have your equipment on, uh, you're supposed to stop the game because that's risky. And, uh, with a, with a fit, you can kick someone else, and that's uh, that's like that, that's the that's understandable. But, but uh, and the penalty, I don't see it because actually there's once against one, and you are not. I mean, there's no other players that you can kick. It's well, I would. You need to let it yeah, and if you stop it, what happens? I would repeat. You repeat? I would repeat. Yeah, but it's a little bit unfair. I mean, to what the one that was defending. That's a good question. No, maybe I'm not 100 percent sure, and we can ask. Uh, probably we can ask later, uh, Pop or. Uh, yeah, uh, I Lars. think we should. I would like to play for that. That would yeah. be interesting to yeah, understand. Me too, me because for for me, it is just like the the danger of uh, getting a kick with a heel uh, without that's a fin. That's no doubt, but uh, if you stop... Exactly, if, if you... Lose, yeah. If, you, but it, if it you lose equipment by attacking, it depends what happens? How what, it happened, what happened if you lose a mask? It, well, hap it, it depends it how it happens. If, uh, um, if you lose your mask um, while attacking because the defender grabs your mask, that's undoubtedly. But if you lose your uh, fin by yourself and... Uh, yeah, that is the situation what yeah. we saw. Did so there was no attacking on the fin. I, I haven't seen no it. No attacking on the fin. F lost the fin by by themselves. What is the result of of of, of, of this part? Okay, we can throw it in the chat here. Um, I'm not 100% sure um, how to deal with the situation here. Live chat, uh, world underwater rugby. Uh, uh, okay, we have one from uh, Petteri Silvola. Uh, I will not stop the game, just an no, opinion I mean from in Finland. The game, in the game, uh, at least in the, in the German reglement, you, in when you are playing and you see one player uh, without or that just uh, makes a fin or the equipment is missing, then uh, you have to, to stop because... You not all equipment. No, if you lose the snorkel... No, not no. of course. The fins or, or the mask is broken, for instance. But here the penalty is different because you don't have people around and... Um, you are in. I mean, you wanna. You don't want. No I mean, have speculation. No, no, no. Just <laughs> what is the rule? No, no. Uh, and and the penalty actually don't don't see the risk like I see it on a game. So, um, and if and, and, and if in this case, uh, then she lost the the fin, and then as a the, the 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 goalkeeper was doing a good job defending, but that the attacker was in, in distress.